Hi everyone, this is Jagmeet here and in this lecture we are going to see how the process of securitization was developed by banks, what caused banks to come up with a process called a securitization. So our typical philosophy is that we will see how business evolves about a necessity and then we'll explore more and more things into it. Let's assume that there is a bank which is uh, typically into a lending business and has got 400 million of capital and these people give loans to others so some of the organizations contact them and these organizations say I want loan to expand their business or come up with something else so these banks particularly give them loans And in return, uh, this borrower gives him a promise saying that he would return principal plus interest. This is called principal. And he, the borrower returns the principal plus interest to the bank after, in a certain period. So it is also time defined. Now assume the fact that uh, one of the organization is say Google and they come up to the bank and they said that they need 100 million of loan. So banks give them 100 million of loan and they need that money maybe for an expansion or something else or a new product they are working with or something else, maybe anything. And then uh, some other person also comes in, say Microsoft comes in and says they also need some more money. Similarly, after some time, Apple comes in and Apple also says that they need more money. And similarly, Yahoo comes in and says that they need money in order to do more, in order to expand their business or in order to be more, pre, uh, in order, or, and after some time, Yahoo comes in and they says that they need money to expand their business. So when bank is giving them loans, they are removing their capital, which they have. So that money is gone and bank has created assets for themselves uh, by lending the money to the borrowers, which were Google, Microsoft, Apple and Yahoo. So with this bank is does not now with this bank does not have a capital as of now and they have only these four loans. But there are still many opportunities coming into the market. There is an opportunity that Oracle is going to buy Sun. And in order to do so, they require some money from the bank. So bank has two options, either to say no to that sort of uh, investment opportunity that has come across, or try to do something in which uh, uh, they can help maybe Oracle in, by giving them loan and then subsequently getting more principal and interest back from Oracle. So when such sort of things occur, banks are in a situation where they don't have uh, capital as of now because all their capital that was initially there with the bank has gone to the borrowers and they are left with no money. Uh, they would get back the money as and when the borrower gives back their principal and interest. So let's say that if Google is taking the loan for five years, Apple for 10 years, Yahoo for two years and Microsoft for another five years, then the earliest money they can get back is from Yahoo, which is after two years. So this is a difficult proposition because uh, it means that for two years you would be out of business. Whatever business you have done previously, you would be eating on that and then they would, you would uh, certainly have nothing to do for two years. So that's a dangerous thing for a bank because then banks would be out of the market. If you're not in the market, then and you're not trading and you're not doing any work in there, People are going to forget about you. Your reputation carries the risk. You are not, you are not the person or go-to person whom organizations would go for any sort of loan. So these banks thought uh, we have to do something about this situation. And they said that uh, if we figure out that there is a whole pool of investors that are there. So these investors can be people like me and you. So, B 
these people are not very rich like i am not rich i don't know about you people but these people are not where do not uh, don't have so much of capital that they can buy a loan of 100 million but they can buy something a loan of say thousand dollars maybe hundred dollars maybe ten dollars or whatsoever the money is not important uh, the concept here we are gonna drive through is that these people collectively have a very high worth say stars star these are stars and they have a worth of much more than 400 million since we now only need 400 million let's say that uh, they have a worth of 400 million collectively but individually they don't have so much of funds to buy uh, a loan of 100 so these banks come up with securities of say a thousand dollars and they come up with 400,000 of such securities now uh, considering the fact that these are securities from Google, Microsoft, these are securities which have underlying assets of from Google, Microsoft, Apple and Yahoo, these becomes hot selling cake in the market and uh, everyone is attracted to them. So these sets of investors buy them as soon as possible they are released into the market and hence the bank gets their cash. I'm writing 410 million over here because the securities would price in such a way that it would generate more money than the money that was uh, lent to these borrowers. So if 400 million were lent to the borrowers, then the securities that would be released in the market would be uh, of a greater amount, say 410 million. So the bank gets their 410 million now. And in turn, banks issues them securities. And these group of investors would get the securities, which is basically a promise by the bank that as and money comes back from the borrower, the bank will route it to these investors. Um, now these investors are under the worry that uh, what happens that if the money that was given back to the bank, the 410 million, uh, the bank would use that money uh, for a good purpose or the bank would not make any unwise decision and say give this loan to one of the other person who is not such a good organization as these organizations let's say that bank goes ahead and out of this 410 million gives 400 million to xyz corporation no one knows about this organization in the market people are very wary of the fact that whether this organization is doing something good or not so they have 10 million left and 400 million they are given to a novice organization XYZ corporation so no one knows uh, or the these group of investors become very wary of the fact or these group of investors are afraid of the fact that what's what the reputation of the bank what happens in this in case this bank goes for bankruptcy or what happens in case that uh, uh, XYZ is not able to return the money and uh, things are getting delayed so uh, would bank would be able to give back them the money the, the required money or bank would be under severe credit crisis or anything like that so they want to ensure that such situation doesn't arise or the assets in which they block the money is not diluted by the other assets in which banks are dealing so they tell bank that uh, you have to do something about it and what banks come up with is that they organize they open a new company let's call it is a limited company and this company is opened with only the sole purpose that these assets would be sold to this organization These are the assets in which your investors were interested in. So uh, this organization is open with the fact that bank would sell these assets to this organization. The money collected would be given back to bank. Okay. And uh, 
or the money collected from investors will be given bank, back to bank from this limited organization. And then this organization would issue the securities. 